Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paul One, and today we have for you a double chem strike with the brand new tattoo camo that came out uh, yesterday actually. And this was kind of unexpected. Nobody had any idea that new camos were coming out. Um, I know I didn't. It was really random. I actually was up all night the night before and uh, I just got off and then I looked on Twitter and I saw that people were talking about an update where the, the uh, vector was nerfed and new camos had come out and I was like that's not possible they didn't say anything about that and you know sure enough I got on and there they were six new camos and a whole bunch of customization packs and all this stuff and uh, it was kind of crazy so these camos are okay you know Call of Duty Ghost camos really suck I'm just gonna be honest I'm not gonna sit around and say how amazing they are uh, Black Ops 2 camos blow Call of Duty Ghost camos away like it's yeah the camos on black ops 2 are amazing i hands down best camos ever um and the ones on here are just so dull uh but if i did buy you know i did buy the nebula and i bought the um abstract camos but i wish i didn't buy nebula it looks cool but when it's actually on the gun it's really really ugly it's really dull in my opinion um, and I wish I bought the leopard camo. It looks the leopard just really looks cool. You can really tell what's on the gun, and it's more of a skin camo, uh, other than like you know a random design like tattoo or I don't know. I just really like the leopard. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, the tattoo camo is, looks okay. It's kind of dull. You know you can't really tell what's going on on it. It just looks kind of tannish and with some designs on it. Nothing really special. When I look for a camo, I look for something that's bright and exciting and that gets me in the, you know, just like, gets not not in the mood to destroy people. Wow, that doesn't make any sense. But, you know, bright and vibrant. That's what people like in Call of Duty. Uh, you know, same goes for maps. People like bright maps. I guess that's the way, same way it is for camos. Um, at least for me it is. Uh, but yeah, you're watching a double cam strike with the brand new camo. Carnage Swag is the guy behind this gameplay. Um, he's managed to get a double camo chem strike the day it came out. We're just posting it the day after it came out. Um, so please go over to his channel and check him out. You don't see too many gameplays from him. You're going to be some, seeing some more future uh, gameplays and content from him that's going to be extremely unique. And uh, yeah, look forward to that. But yeah, this is a really good gameplay. Please, guys, please, 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 since you haven't seen him in a long time, go over to his channel and just check him out, support him. He has great content, great videos on his channel. Uh, it would mean a lot to him as well as me. And also, guys, for a double camo chem strike, uh, you know, we got it really quickly. Carnage Swag got it really fast. I think it's worthy of a, a, a huge 600 likes. I, I think that should be pretty easy for you guys. Uh, if we don't hit that, that's completely fine, but I, I think you guys can do that. It's, you know, if you if you click on this video and it's at, like, 400, then, you know, 200 away. That would be cool if you can just help support us and start with, support the video. Because that really, it means a lot to us to see you guys liked the video at the same time really did like the video um then it, you know it goes a long way it goes really it does it means a lot um so yeah now i want to know what you guys think about uh call of duty advanced warfare and what they're going to do with camos now obviously almost 100 percent guaranteed to have gun camos but with this whole new exoskeleton thing and then we got the we got to see the pre-order bonus which was like a uh, I believe it was like a bronze, looks kind of gold, but it was a bronze exoskeleton suit. That kind of shows, or kind of like gives me a hint that they're going to add camos for the, the exoskeleton suits. Kind of like how they did in Call of Duty Ghost with the customization character. You can kind of add a camo to your uh, character, but for this time it's going to be on your exoskeleton suit. I think that's really, really cool. It will add a lot of color to the characters. and it will. I think that that's a good idea if they do do that. And I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that. And uh, I hope that the camos are vibrant, they're cool looking, and I hope they look good like they did in Black Ops 2. Maybe even move 3D camos, that's what I'm really looking for. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious on what they're going to do in Advanced Warfare with camos. Uh, but I'm sure they'll they'll do something good. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay. Make sure to go check out Carnage Swag once again. If we could hit 600 likes, that would be awesome. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Look forward to today's team challenge. You guys requested that we posted two challenges every week. So you'll be seeing a um, dual com actually with myself and another Carnage member on a really, really, really sick team challenge later today. So look forward to that, guys. And uh, once again, hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Nobody got gameplays like Carnage. Uh, you won't see them stripes like Carnage. Uh,
10 day posts, two videos every day, 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 day.